What is mining? Mining is all about extracting useful materials such as minerals and metals from the earth, usually below the ground. We get all our copper, coal and gold from mining. Most of the minerals that we remove from the ground is inorganic, except for coal. The earth's crust contains many natural resources that humans need. To get those materials, we must dig them out. Mining is the action of digging into the ground for those minerals and other materials. There are many different types of mines. Some are huge open pits, which are visible from the outside. Others are tunnels or narrow shafts that go very deep underground. Somebody who extracts coal, ore, clay and other minerals through mining is a miner. Miners work hard, often in difficult conditions. Mining is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Some mines have tunnels that stretch for many miles. Miners use specialized machines to dig and scrape away at the walls. Mines have a ventilation system, otherwise the miners wouldn't be able to breathe. Mining is much safer today than it used to be. In 1910, there were a total of 2,821 mining deaths in the United States, according to Statista.com. In 2020, there were five deaths out of a total of 63,000 miners. According to Britannica.com, mining is dangerous work. Tunnel mines can cave in or quickly flood with water. When such disasters happen, miners may be trapped below ground. The explosions used in mining can also release poisonous gases. Exploring for and extracting petroleum from under the ground is also part of mining in a wider sense. In this category, we can also include the extraction of other non-renewable resources, such as natural gas or even water. Mining, especially when it is unregulated, can release harmful substances into the air, soil and water. When rocks are crushed in open pit mines, for example, they may expose radioactive elements, metallic dust and asbestos-like minerals. Asteroid mining, extracting materials from asteroids and other minor planets, could be a reality within the next couple of decades. We would need to be able to identify the right asteroids and overcome the many challenges of extracting materials in a space environment.